Kill cool, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kiroi. Welcome back to another episode of our how to series for uh, Valheim. In today's one, I just wanted to go over a quick little weapon guide for the Frostna. Um, if you guys don't know about the Frostna, um, well, we'll explain everything in this video. But yeah, so I'm just going to cover um, how to acquire it, some prerequisites. I can't even say that word. Prerequisites you'll need. There we go. Um, and yeah, it's damages, it's effects, backstab, parry, all that stuff, frost and unique abilities, and then we'll uh, give it a quick test run, see how it goes. Um, I probably will be testing it against um, a falling, so it's not going to be like terribly accurate, because fallings aren't resistant to blunt damage, which is what the frost not offer offers, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll jump into that later. So, um, yeah, so basically to... Well, to make the Frost Knight, you're going to need to acquire 10 Ancient Bark, 30 Silver, 5 Ymir Flesh, and 5 Freeze Glands. So basically, Ancient Bark you get from the trees in the uh, swamps. Uh, silver, obviously, you get from the mountains. If you don't know how to get Silver, check out my uh, How to Find Silver guide. Um, Ymir Flesh, you actually do get from uh, this guy over here. He's called Haldor. You find him in the Black Forest. He's a trader. Um, so you might actually, might take you some time to try and find him. I was lucky enough that he's actually at my, um, my base, but you might not be as lucky. So <laughs> happy hunting, I guess. Um, and then the last thing you need is freeze glands and freeze glands actually drop from Drake's, which again, you find in the mountains. Alrighty. So that's, um, carrying too much here. I'll waddle over to the, uh, to the, uh, forge. Alrighty, there we go, Frost Knight. So as you can see, it uh, so it's one-handed, and it says the dead fear silver. Remind them why. So I basically anything that's made out of silver like hurts the dead. But we'll go over that in a sec. So yeah, so it's a one-handed weapon. Its durability is two hundred. It requires a forge level three. Uh, its blunt is damage is thirty-five. Frost damage is forty. Spirit damage twenty. Block power ten. Parry force uh, thirty. Uh, the parry bonus, which is basically if you get the shield block with it it does double damage uh knock back 120 and backstab times three and which is the good thing about this is it only takes away five percent of your overall movement speed which is good in comparison to the iron sledge which was 20 percent but yeah so we'll craft this bad boy Alrighty, righty shall equip it all right yeah, as you can see pretty beastly looking thing but yeah so we'll equip all of stuff and I'll make my way down to kill these fallings because you can hear them in the background. Yeah, well, you might not be able to, I can hear them, but, um, but yeah, so um, while we make our way down, I'll just go over. So basically, um, so like I said, so it does uh, 35 blunt damage. Now, blunt damage is only really relevant to, um, to skeletons, blobs, and the uh, boss bone mass. Other than that, it's not terribly effective. Um, the however the uh spirit because it's silver the spirit bonus you get this uh, 20 spirit damage bonus you get does kind of compensate for that because you will do uh spirit damage to well basically anything dead so like wraiths skeletons drogs anything like that so that's actually pretty good because drogs can be a bit intimidating and you can actually get the frost near or frost near, sorry um quite early on as long as obviously you provided you find haldor but um but yeah um, so yeah, so then we have the frost damage, which basically the, uh, the frost effect is basically just, um, it grants, um, extra damage against uh, enemies that are wet. So it doesn't really apply unless, um, like the mob you're trying to kill is, has been inside rivers. So like if you're trying to kill, um, what are they called? Necks. It'll be good against necks because they're always next to a little river. They're always wet. Um, so that's kind of a bit pointless. It does have a pretty nice... I mean, this Death Skater is going to kill me as soon as I get outside. Um, it does actually have a pretty good um, knockback as well for a one-handed. It does do um, 120 knockback damage. Where is he? There he is. Oh, there's two of them. Great stuff. Are they buggered up? Oh, he might be coming after me. Alrighty, there you go, see? Has no problems dealing with Deskitos. That's all you want, right? Anyway, um, but yeah, so it's Blunt Damage, Frost, and Spirits. We've covered those. It does have um, 
a times three damage boost for backstab. So if you're creeping up behind someone and you smack them in the back, obviously you get three times the uh, the damage, which is pretty good. And it does, like I said, have 120 knockback, which is quite good. It's not as good as the like 250, I believe, that the Iron Sledge had. But obviously that's a two-handed weapon. It was bound to be uh, pretty hefty. Let's see what we've got. I don't want to get into uh, too big of a fight because uh, the fallings over in my area tend to like stick in still. Oh, God, this death skin is crazy. Yeah, the fallings in this area tend to uh, tend to stick in groups, so I need to be careful. But yes, yeah, so we'll uh, give this bad boy a little uh, little run in. Let's see what damage it can do to a falling. I thought I honestly heard fallings around here. Oh, there he is. See if I can drag one of them over. Nah, both heard. See if one loses interest. Sorry guys, just bear with me. Fighting two of them is not going to be very fun, but we'll give it a go. If I die, I'm sorry. Alright, there you go. See, the frost damage actually does help. One, it knocks them back. With the knockback, the 120 damage for the knockback. And then you also get the frost effect. So it slows them down, like, quite considerably. I was... I'm actually pretty surprised with the, um... The frost effect on the fallings because you could as long as there's not two you could smoke these guys pretty uh pretty easy look at that yeah we got the uh we got that third critical hit in that's amazing alrighty guys that's uh that's pretty good so i definitely recommend you uh get your hands on this if you uh if you can um but yeah some conclusion you will need 10 ancient bark 30 silver 5 emir flesh and 5 freeze glands um, I should have how-to videos to find all of those. So just uh, go check them out if you're confused or just look them up on like the Valheim Wiki or something like that. Um, it does quite a bit of damage. Great knockback. The frost um, ability actually does help you pretty pretty well. Like it slows your enemies down quite considerably. So um, if you're having tr uh, tr trouble with like fallings like I do or anything like that, definitely give it a go. Um, I would say it's probably one of the best weapons in the game. Like overall. And most people would say the same. Um, it's probably, it's rated one of the most, um, yeah, the best uh, end game weapons. And yeah, easy. You can get it pretty early on in the game as well. So um, yeah, definitely uh, definitely smash that if you found Haldor. Get that Ymir flesh. And yeah, guys, happy hunting. Uh, like, comment, subscribe as always. If you have any other future weapons videos or anything like that, just leave them down the uh, comment section below and I'll see if we can make a video or a how-to guide on it. And uh, yeah, guys, if you want to help support the channel even further, I do have a Patreon page, so uh, you can check that out if you're interested. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.